about the leadership that we have in San Francisco. There is no doubt that he is um, serious about public education and certainly taking great care of our youth. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Lee. Thank you, thank you, Haicha. This pick is part of an overall appreciation for the best school district in the country, San Francisco. There's no longer a competition between us and. Oakland or us in San Jose, it's about us and the whole world and how we're going to utilize our innovation center to produce the best educated kids and the most compassionate kids, the kids that will learn about life as well as arts, as well as science and technology. And I know that if we were to ask every one of you, you would say, well, thank you, but I'm really just representing many more of my colleagues in the district. We know that's how you feel, but I'm gonna ask a favor of you today. Just take it in, <laughs> just take it in today, because this is really about all of you today. Our first award recipient is <laughs> Miss Marissa Miller. <laughs> My teaching style is definitely implementing an interdisciplinary model. Um, we embrace family partnerships and everything we do is child-centered and child-driven. The best part about working with my students is the second I get there until the second I leave, I am often the person who hears their first word or sees even their first smile. Um, and I feel that they give more to me than I could ever give to them. Marissa, congratulations. Our next award recipient is Judy Vertal from Marshall Elementary, first grade Spanish Immersion. I enjoy this kind of work. There's so many surprising things that happen every day. I've always taught either first or second grade. There's something about children at that age when they're just on the cusp of learning to read and they're just starting to learn how to be students that is really interesting to me. They're learning how to formulate questions and to understand the world around them. To be a successful teacher, you have to continuously learn yourself. You're not done when you graduate from college and you're not done when you get your teaching credential. There are always new types of teaching strategies to learn, but also new things to learn about the world itself. And so you have to be a lifelong learner to be a good teacher. Judy, thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Kelly Clark, fifth grade, Harvey Milk Civil Rights Academy. I got into teaching by being a community member and realizing where the needs were and I also wanted to spend my life doing something that would help other people. When you take a child bowling there's the, the little rails that come up and that's sort of my philosophy where you want them to have a free role but you also want to give some guidance there and some barriers to make sure that the ball goes down the lane and hits those pins. My teaching philosophy is non-punitive, lots of patience, and pushing kids just towards their better selves. Congratulations, Kelly. Our next award recipient is Gianna Chavetta. I like to think of myself as somebody who gives a lot of tough love to students. Um, I try to hold all my students accountable to reaching higher and higher standards and developing them as much academic um, progress and thinking of themselves as scholars as possible, but I am always have them in my heart and really want to offer them as much love and support as I can. Um, and in terms of academic style, I want them to be independent. I want them to seek knowledge out for themselves. I want to be there to help them. I want to provide them with tools so that they can go and analyze and investigate on their own and feel successful. I think the key to being a successful teacher is having a lot of patience and a lot of persistence. Congratulations, Gianna. And last but not least, our high school 
Teacher of the Year, Michael Ferrano. Ferrano. I get them in a certain state, and uh, by the time I'm done teaching them that year, I get to see the immediate growth. Uh, it's very gratifying, but then I get to follow a lot of them through the rest of high school and then into college and some of them beyond, and uh, really proud of what they've done and knowing that I've been a part of that's been very important to me. I think what makes a successful teacher is one that truly cares about outcomes for students, helping them uh, overcome difficulties in their lives and being able to uh, set them on a path that they might not otherwise have been on. Mike, congratulations.